Now, it's been called Vaseline Gate and it hasn't got down well uh, with India. Michael Vaughan had suggested that VVS Lakshman had Vaseline his bat and hence survived longer in the first inning. Sunil Gavaskar suggests that the former England captain should pay a price for what he said. An appeal of VVS Lakshman on 27 turned down by Asad Rauf. A decision referred to the television empire for a review where even Hotspot did not pick up any edge. But instead of putting the issue to rest, it sparked off a controversy with England alleging that Lakshman had Vaseline on his bat. That prevented Hotspot from detecting the edge. I actually sarcastically had a cheeky feel of his edge when, uh, when um, the ball went past. But no, there's, there's no, just the edge of his bat, but there's no Vaseline. So no Vaseline said Stuart Broad, but Michael Vaughan's subsequent tweet bordered on the slanderous. He asked, has Vaseline on the outside edge saved the day for Lakshman? Construed as an attack on Lakshman's integrity, Vaughan's comment triggered angry responses from fans and experts. How the hell does Michael Vaughan know Vaseline has been used? Has he put it on his back? So he must have done it to know that there would be Vaseline. None of us know that if you put Vaseline on spot, it doesn't take it. I mean, if I was VVS Lakshman, I'd have my lawyer have a look at that because it's questioning my integrity as a cricketer. A bemused Michael Vaughan then replied on Twitter, taken to court, Sense of humour required for many. I reckon I might get an invite into Big Brother in India at this rate. Knowing the gentleman cricketer that VVS Lakshman is, he's unlikely to sue Michael Vaughan. But the ugly responses to Vaughan's tweet by xenophobic Indian fans will only work as a lubricant in this Vaseline debate. In Nottingham, Woodjadi Bhandarkar, Nikhil Nas for NDTV. Michael Vaughan is saying, come on guys, get a sense of humour. Standing next to me, two guys, I've been with them, they have a great sense of humour. Let me ask you first, to us it looks like a cover-up. What does it look like to you? Well, first of all, Nicola, I must tell you that I haven't seen the tweet. I've only heard it from some journalists because I leave the tweeting to the birds. I'm not into <laughs> that. But I don't like what I heard the journalist talking about, that he, what he said on, on Twitter. You know, when you go on Twitter, it's almost as if you are writing an article. It's out in the, in the public domain. People don't know if you are joking when you say it because the written words are a bit different from the spoken word. When you are speaking and people can see that you are smiling and you are being sarcastic or that you are joking, it's different from when you are writing something. I think he was a little bit careless writing that.